I'm super excited for today's session because it's something that's completely close to my heart. I am, uh, for a lot of them who know, I am a social media marketer, but today we are going to be talking to a digital entrepreneur. Yes, you got that right. A new term. And of course, with the new, uh, with the new normal, this has become something which is a daily part of our lives. So without taking too much time, I would like to introduce to uh, introduce to you my guest today. He is Ramit Jaitwani, who is a chartered accountant turned digital entrepreneur. And uh, he is the founder of the Millennial Entrepreneur Cl Entrepreneurship Club. And I have to tell you something that uh, Today, uh, he comes with a very simple, uh, with a very simple motto. Okay, so his motto is that he wants to empower individuals to uh, set their digital uh, online business apart. And what I think is completely fabulous is that uh, you know he's someone who um, comes with no jargon at all, not a lot of baggage of what will people say, Lokya kahenge. So it was so quick, like his entire schooling and education he spent in Chartered Accountant, but he took time out and completely switched to a new uh, career. So without wasting time, let me get him online. Hi, Ramit. Good evening. Hey, what's How up? All good. Good to see you after really long. Yes, we've been, of course, connected through social media. But Definitely. Before yes. we move ahead, can you, can you hear me clearly? Is it all good? Yes, perfectly. To all my awesome. viewers, can you hear Ramit clearly? Because I can. I can. And what's up, everyone? Monday, no more blues. Totally, totally. Especially with the lockdown called in, I think this is the perfect uh, time to speak about the topic that you've got for us today. So, without wasting too much time, tell us more about this Millennial Entrepreneur Club that you founded. You know, you're moving from chartered accounting to digital entrepreneur. Okay, so first of all, thank you for having me. My it's uh, I really, I truly appreciate that this opportunity, and just uh, and thank you for the introduction as well. That was uh, really nice. Now, just to add on uh, what you just said, I basically founded the Millennial Entrepreneurs Club a year back okay. with the sole intent to empower millennials my generation, our generation, to right. see the opportunities available today with respect to the power of the internet. You're seeing more and more digital entrepreneurs being created every single day. Yes. So what does that mean? It means that there is so much opportunity for anyone or everyone, even if you have you know, little or zero experience, it doesn't matter. Anybody can get started. But right. the situation is the fact that a lot of people aren't aware of this new opportunity. See, it's really simple. If this is the new normal, right, and everything around you is changing, then it's only kind of, you know, obvious that you should change as well. Right. Like, you know, you should adapt to the new change and understand what opportunities are available to you. Because when we went to school, you know, we do schooling 10th, 11th, 12th, and the goal for most people is to get a good job so that they can have a good career. Yes. Right. Course. But what I don't understand is that you, you know, you, the traditional educational system requires you to study really hard, give that interview, you know, please that boss and get into a job and then work one third of your life for someone else building their dreams. Right. Now I have nothing against anyone who loves their job, like right. good for you, kudos to you. However, I feel that if you're not really satisfied, you don't enjoy what you do, there is that lack of fulfillment and you want more and you know that you deserve more from life. Right. Then obviously you're not going to wait for your next life. You want to yes. do it in this life itself. Yes. yes you know, so the goal, uh, I mean, making the transition from being a chartered accountant to a digital entrepreneur was, was very... Uh, it was actually a leap of faith. Okay. You know, it, was, it wasn't like the opportunity just fell into my lap and I was like, you know, yes, I'm a lucky guy. No, it, it took a lot of work. I had to really go through those struggles. Right. But I always knew that even when I was a teenager, I always knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. It was just very clear, right. you know. And I think over, you know, over a period of time, you learn from your experiences. 
right. you know what is right for you you know what you want to do so as you mature as you grow a little more wiser then you have to understand what is it that's important to you and just focus on doing that so what the millennial entrepreneurs club does yes is that we coach and we teach individuals regardless okay. of your background regardless of you know how much you've studied how much experience you have right to really take charge of your life through digital entrepreneurship because the opportunities are everywhere Very but true. if you if you don't know where to look then you're going to be blinded by what's waiting for you yes very true so that was that was my inspiration to start and create a movement and make an impact and also leave a legacy that's great would you say then that considering that we are in the new normal now where everything is literally going online you were a step ahead when you started this one year back um see that's a great question by the way however i might have a little advantage but it's not like a game changing advantage you know i just feel that see i always always passionate about three things entrepreneurship technology and teaching okay so you know uh, i really worked really hard to bring these three elements together and create a business around this and make a lifestyle out of it but i don't really think i have like a one year advantage i feel that even if i do it's a blessing cuz then i have the advantage to empower more people now right very so it, yeah yeah so uh, you know romit with uh, the whole new normal coming in it's not only the millennials but even the older generation that's now keeping up to technology you know people who had their businesses offline have now converted them online so we've seen um, i personally have seen a lot of people who are struggling you know to just kind of figure what you know like how to take the business online how to become an entrepreneur online so could you just um, you know give some tips to uh, our viewers out there of what they could exactly do like do they zero into a particular audience or should they really hire someone to get coaching like you know how you coach just throw light in that please absolutely uh, i'll throw a lot of light on that Okay, um, so that the, the, the listeners and the viewers can get like the right information cuz firstly there's a, just because you have access to information on your fingertips doesn't mean that it's all right information for you Correct. secondly because there is so much information it's a blessing and a curse because you don't know like it can be overwhelming where do i start what yes. do i do like Correct. what does this all mean so I'm going to break this down into four simple steps. Okay. okay? And if anyone who's watching this who if you understand these four steps then you have that one year advantage like I do. Like <laughs> I'm going to just give you a crash course right now. So the first step is to understand yes. that the goal of an entrepreneur is not necessarily just to make money. But right. it is to identify a problem that you are willing to solve for a specific audience. True. Right? Entrepreneurs are problem solvers. and you right. get paid you get compensated for the for how you solve that problem right oh. so we're living in the knowledge economy and i'll explain to you what that means is that people are constantly looking for solutions to their problems right, right? they go to google and they type how to lose weight how to get fit how to make money how to find the right relationship all this jazz right so the demand for information is already there correct however millions of people are willing to pay for the right information right yes, that's I why agree. you have e learning you have you know online coaches mentors online courses you know it's e learning industry itself is a 300 billion dollar industry not million but billion wow so that itself justifies the opportunity that is there now the top 3 industries where people have the most demand for information is health wealth and relationships very true right so as an entrepreneur you have the opportunity to build a business based on your interest what Good. is that problem that you would love to solve for someone else regardless of you having 10 years of experience or 6 months of experience very well so said. just to give you a very uh, juvenile example if i know how to cook rice and if hypothetically you don't know how to cook rice but you want to learn yes do i need to be sanjeev kapoor to teach you how to cook rice of course not <laughs> exactly 
So that's what I'm saying. You don't have to be an expert right. to build a business. Now, the first step is to identify what they call your niche. This is a you lovely, know? sorry to cut you, but this is a no. lovely, lovely uh, example that you gave out there. So for all of us, uh, for all of you who are joining in, we are in conversation with Raman Jaitpani, who is a digital entrepreneur. And he is giving us some tips today uh, on digital entrepreneurship. So over to you, Raman, again. Okay, so the first step is to identify the problem you want to solve. Yes. But you can't solve everyone's problems, True. right? So you want to identify a very specific problem, just like the rice cooking example, right? A very specific problem that you would love to solve. Okay. Correct. If you, I mean, just to give you another example, why specialization is important is if you look at a cardiologist and if you look at an MBBS doctor, right? Which doctor makes more money? Cardiologist, of course. Why? Because he's a specialist. Yes. Right. So the first step is to identify a specific problem you would love to solve based on your interest or your knowledge or your experience, whatever it is. Okay. So that's the first step. The second step is now to identify how do you want to solve this problem. Okay. So there are two ways to go about this. The first way is to create your own solution. Okay. So that's why you see so many new, so many coaches, so many uh, online courses. So right. this is where you create your own product. Correct. Based on your information. Like if you feel that you have uh, achieved something yourself and you can package your knowledge into a system that others can follow, then yes. you have the opportunity to create that own solution for your audience. Okay. The other way is what is known as affiliate marketing, which okay. is where you can promote someone else's solution to your audience. So okay. affiliate marketing is actually the best way to get started online because okay. you have the opportunity to recommend what somebody else has already created. Okay. Correct. Correct. So, now affiliate marketing includes two kinds of products. There's physical products and digital products. I don't want to get into multiple layers, but just to give a conceptual understanding right. is that you can go on Amazon and you can promote Amazon products and Amazon right. will pay you a 10% commission for every sale that comes through you. Correct. Or even more better is that there are, because there's so much demand for digital products, information based products, like yes. online courses, uh, ebooks, uh, apps, softwares, anything that is digital in nature. Yes. You can promote those products as well. So, for example, if let's say, uh, you know, someone is interested in health and fitness, especially in right. yoga, and they don't really have the experience to create their own solution. Correct. But they can identify an existing solution. Let's say Shilpa Shetty's yoga program. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now, 80% of brands today have an affiliate program. Why? Because as a company, your goal is what? To generate more sales for yourself, for your company, yeah. right? That so is. that's why companies and with the rise of influencers, bloggers, uh, YouTubers, where like, for example, a YouTuber is talking about a particular, you know, product or an unboxing or some review then you will see that all these YouTubers are dropping a unique link in the description. And if anybody yes. purchases that product that they're talking about through their link, they get compensated. So affiliate marketing Correct. is a huge billion dollar industry where anyone can get started, provided you have the right training and understanding and you can promote someone else's product. So just to, just to summarize point number two is yes. you don't necessarily have to create your own product. You can right. recommend other people's products and you can earn a lot of money. Okay. True. And one more point is that in, on digital products, right? If I want to promote a yoga based program, then I can earn way more because a physical product has operational expenses attached, like True. transportation, like warehousing, but digital products. If today you buy an online course, are you waiting for a delivery guy to call you up and say, madam, aapka online course poch gaya? No, no, right? Not. It's instant consumption. So there are no operational expenses attached, which means that the company who owns the product can pay you more commission. And the commissions range from 20% to 70%. Right. So there's a huge opportunity there. Now, we've, we've covered two points. First is you yes. identified the problem you want to solve. Who is your audience? You know, yes. the second point is what, how do you want to solve the problem? Do you want to create your own product or do you want to recommend someone else's? Now, the third step is the most important of, of them all. Okay. Because if nobody knows you, why will they buy anything from you? 
Oh, exactly. Correct. Exactly. The, yeah. right? I might I might have the you know the key to cancer, but if you don't know me, you don't trust me, then you're gonna be like you know, dude, you're a you're a, you know you're just scamming me, right? So yes, the third yes. step is about building a relationship with your audience. Okay. Okay. Because when your audience knows you, likes you, and trusts you, then they will be more inclined to take your offers more seriously. Of course. And in order for you to bridge that gap between someone who's a complete stranger and to get them on a journey to know you, like you, and trust you, you need to have a yes. process. Okay. Okay. Like a process where you deliver value first. Okay. okay. You so for example, just to get a little little technical, um, no it's very very important to have a website, but yes. you don't need to hire a developer or you don't need to uh, have coding programming knowledge anymore. Like that's all dinosaur age. You don't need all that. Right. There right. are very easy tools and systems where you can create a website. Now the only goal of your website. Is to deliver value first, create a first impression, and give something away for free. Correct. So, for example, let's say uh, you know, if I'm interested in uh, you know, vegan diets, okay, and I want to attract an audience who you know they're struggling with uh, understanding what veganism is, just an example, then I can Correct. I can pull some resources together and create like a nice. Uh, Video or an ebook talking about the top ten vegan recipes, right. okay, and I can give Correct. this away for free on my website yes. in exchange yes. for the person's name and email address. Okay, right? It's a fair yes. exchange. There is yes. no, there's yes. no, there's no transaction happening, but it's Correct. a value exchange. So right. if you are someone who's interested in veganism all of a sudden and you are looking for more information and you come across, you know. Uh, my website, for example, then right. you will automatically be attracted to downloading that ebook, and you'll willingly give Correct. me your information to get access to that information. Correct. Now, when you're okay. giving me your information, I am like you're not the only one, right? That I'm, I'm gonna attract more and more people. So okay. your your database of people who are already interested in what you have to offer is gonna grow. And then now you have the opportunity to build a relationship with these people, provide more value, and then right. you can make an offer and say, "Hey, you know, there is this amazing, uh, you know, vegan cooking online course that I highly recommend." And this can right. be a product that you are an affiliate with, so you can promote that product, and you can make money, and your audience is happy, and you're happy. So yeah, this is yeah. how you, yeah, this is how you build that relationship between someone who doesn't know you. You provide value. And then right. you build the relationship, and then you make an offer. Correct. But never forget the intention behind solving the person's problem, because that's okay. why you start the business to solve problems, right? Correct. This is not a sprint; it's it's a marathon. Right. Okay. There is no like, even though there are so many stories of you, you can make so much money online. I mean, there's a lot of false advertising. It definitely yes. is a smart way to earn a living, compared to right. spending the next forty years of your life working building someone else's dreams. You know, you rather right. be you rather be equally committed to learning the skills necessary to build your own dreams. Why work for Very. someone else? Very the fourth true. step, the fourth step is marketing. Now you have to understand that social media is free. Facebook doesn't charge you to use Facebook. Instagram doesn't charge you to use Instagram. So. You want to post relevant content so people know that you have some kind of authority on the subject that you're talking about. So if I if I start talking about you know I don't know why I took the example of veganism but that was the first example that came to my mind. But whatever it is, you know whether it's yoga, whether it's relationships, dating, parenting, uh, real estate, stock market, whatever your interest is, if you don't post relevant content on Facebook or Instagram, wherever your audience is, and how will they know? That you have something to offer. Very true. So the four steps, just to summarize, is first you have the opportunity to identify what are you really passionate about and what problem do you want to solve. Because back yes. in the day, and being Sindhi, you know that yes. the Sindhi forefathers they would they wouldn't look at what they're passionate about. They would look at where is the money. Correct. We will start Correct. something where the money is. 
but yes, the I dynamics have changed true right today you see so many bloggers youtubers vloggers uh you know influencers they're doing what they yes. love and they're making a living out of it very true does that mean they are some does that mean that they're super special or super extraordinary no they just took that they just they just realized an opportunity and they seized it right right so before uh, before just to complete this four step uh, process the crash course i promise identify what you enjoy identify what is the problem you want to solve and who would be the right audience you would want to help number 2 is create a solution or identify an existing solution that can help your audience third is you know create a process to take your stranger who doesn't know you to know you right. like you and trust you so that you can make an offer to them and fourth is utilize social media to let the world know what you're all about so that they can connect the dots and enter your sales process and finally become a paid customer or a paid client so i hope this was simplified enough and uh it made was, sense to everyone you know i i myself being a social media marketer i've learned so much more today just by listening to your crash course and of course you know uh, to all my viewers out there i'd like to tell you that um, i follow romit a lot and you know there was something that really connected me to his page even though we've been friends for a really long time was um you know the fact that he uses a lot of laws of the universe the positivity part of it into your in, you know in, he's actually fused it into your business module which i think is great because these days you know we we're, we're constantly listening to about the law of attraction right romit where people are speaking about the law of attraction you're going to read books about the law of attraction but you really do not know how to convert it into your business because you re- like you mentioned there's so much information people are reading about it and then it's like a bhel puri and then when you're putting it back to your business you just lost so um you know your coaching just brings everything so effort effortlessly back together can you just tell us a little more about you know your coaching and how like if someone wants to enroll with you for your coaching do you like tailor make it for them or do you have a um, set co- you know like set training programs so uh i mean you firstly just to uh, acknowledge the law of attraction there are a lot of believers and non believers okay yeah. however yeah. for those of you who are watching right now if you're a non believer become a believer and for those of you who believe make sure you're not just believing and not manifesting make sure you understand the process to manifest i yeah. actually just did a video on my youtube talking about uh how to attract like the, the law of attraction the seven steps to make the law of attraction work for you so now infusing this into your business as far as you your question is concerned um i think you know our mindset is the most like invaluable asset that we tend to take for granted okay. we place more value on you know that coolest watch that that you know that uh, you know those shoes the bags the materialistic stuff yes. you know but you have to understand that all these you know materialistic things that you can buy if you lose them you can always buy them again very true but your mind like it, you're born with it so you have to really value and one more thing just to add is that everything that you see around you yes. was once upon a time an idea in someone's mind agreed very well so said so we all have access to this level of creative imagination and if we don't understand how to utilize it then we are limiting our potential to realize a life that we truly deserve correct so connecting the law of attraction and how you mentioned i've infused it into my business right is because obviously i want to attract more you know more wealth more of me being being the best version of myself right. you know spiritually financially so i want to attract like all these things into my life so that's how it's naturally infused into my business and into my health and into you know my relationship everything so as far as now my coaching is concerned which you just asked yes. so my website has a free training okay. that gives you a idea a very clear idea on what is possible for you okay once anyone watches it's just a 30 minute video but it's packed 
with everything that I've learned. Okay. And what I wish someone would have told me when I got started. Oh, okay. That's amazing. So very, and I've just it's it's on my website. You, anyone can watch it anytime at your own convenience. And once you complete watching that video, you will have an insight into what is possible for you. Okay. And once you watch that video, it doesn't end over there. Then you have the opportunity to book a one-to-one -one call with me. Okay. Where I will understand what your goals are. Okay. And if I have a solution that can help you reach and achieve right. those goals. Right. If we are a good fit to work with each other. Correct. Then I will make an offer which will be to join my coaching program right. if it makes sense to you. If right. it doesn't make sense, then it doesn't make sense, right? I'm not, I can't solve everyone's problems. So <laughs> this, I focus on personal mentorship in my coaching. Okay. Because especially when somebody is getting started, they will download a, an online course, but they will never get the results. They will Google YouTube, but they'll never get the results. Right. So I realized that mentorship is the key, especially when you're building your foundation to your online business. Yes. So I only work with a very few people okay. who fit the criteria of being committed to their goals and who are willing to take action and follow okay. the instructions okay. because I wanted to be a win-win relationship. Yes. If I, if you're, if you're paying me, then I'm also paying you with my time. Agreed. Very true. That, I think that point that you mentioned that uh, you're paying with your time, a lot of people you know, they don't understand that part of it because for them, they're like, hey, we've paid you the money. And But you know, the point that you're making here is even you are investing that kind of time to give them a result which just gets lost. So I'm so glad you brought this point up. Sorry to cut you again. No, exactly. So I, I firmly believe because see, I value my time just yes. like you value yours. So yes. I'm, I want to make sure that I'm spending my time with someone who is going to value my time. Correct. Simple as that. And mm -hmm. I have the opportunity to decide, you know, if, if there is an opportunity for me and the person to work together, it feels like a good fit, then, you know, yes, then come on board. I'll be happy to coach you. And mm -hmm. I have my own four week accelerator program okay. where it's specifically designed for people who are working Monday to Friday. Okay. So I take live coaching sessions on Sundays for two hours. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, for four weeks so that it doesn't affect your normal routine. Correct. Right. And then I not only give you the theoretical knowledge, but I right. give you an assignment after every class to ensure that during the week, you are mm -hmm. practically applying what you've learned. Oh, that's brilliant. And then I personally review these assignments to make sure you are on the right track, making the right progress. Oh, wow. And not just that. I also extend, see, the, the point is that once you learn and apply everything within four weeks, yes. everyone has a different uh, pace at which they want to go, Correct. at which they want to apply, especially yes. those who are so occupied with their normal job or their regular business, Agreed. right? So what happens after four weeks if you need any help? So the program is dedicated to extending the support not just for the four weeks, obviously, but for lifetime. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So for so, all our viewers who are watching there, Romit, once you enroll with him, he just doesn't ensure that, you know, the course is over and he'll leave you to fly. Every time you need his assistance, he is always available for you, which is just fabulous. I think this is fabulous. Yeah, because I mean, because I go, I, I, uh, you know, there is a process before, like when I get on a, get on a call with someone, yes. I understand, is this person a little bit like-minded? Yes. Will I gel well with this person? Can yes. I build a relationship with this person? And yes. then when it's a good fit and I'm like, you know, like, let's go for it. Let's, let, let, uh, let's take you to the next level. Then I'm not here to build a four week relationship. I'm here to build a long-term relationship with all my, all my clients, all my students. And I have an amazing relationship with each and every one of them. And more importantly, I believe that there is a huge need for 
this knowledge and it's uh, it's already everywhere online but yeah. it's not really in a proper sequence with proper virtual hand holding that yeah. come this yeah. is the first step this is step 2 step 3 so that's why i designed this program to personally mentor a group of people that's who are really dedicated who are really committed and who really want to take charge of their life right this is fabulous so everyone you all can follow romit on instagram it his uh, his handle is at romit jadwani he is available even on facebook and his website so you can all connect there i will put all the details onto my igtv post so that everything is out there um and we have some comments from the audience not really asking questions but just saying how much uh, they really liked the session and some of the tips that you gave they found it very like darshika says it was very well said so thank you so much romit for uh, you know removing time on a busy monday and uh, taking the small crash course for all my viewers out there i took back so much from this session and i'm sure all my viewers who are watching it now and later on have taken back thank you so much for this it was really a pleasure thank you for the opportunity and i hope your viewers found a lot of value from this session and if they have any questions if anyone is watching the recording of this then you i'm i'm an uh, you know i'm i won't say i'm easily accessible but i'm not i'm not the president of the united states also so you can get in touch with me and i would love to help you out show you the way you know provide my expertise and at the end of the day we're all we're all here to help each other and grow together very true. and i think that's the only thing that matters very true thank you so much once again absolutely take care bye